Welcome to Review Central. This is Midwifery Reviewer number 3, featuring questions on infant care and feeding. Although this reviewer is specifically prepared for the midwifery licensure examination, given by the Professional Regulation Commission of the Philippines, the concepts are universal, and are therefore applicable to similar midwifery licensure exams given in other territories. There are 10 questions featured on this reviewer. All questions are modeled on actual questions that appeared on previous midwifery licensure exams. Let's begin. Question number one. Which of the following accounts for the greatest percentage of calories in breast milk? A. Protein. B. Fat. C. Carbohydrates. D. Cholesterol. The correct answer is B, fat. Fat and lactose are the heavy hitters when it comes to calories. About 50 to 65% of calories in breast milk come from the fat and about 35% to 45% from the lactose. Question number two. Breastfeeding exert a contraceptive effect as it increases the mother's level of which of the following hormones? A, estrogen. B, testosterone C. Prolactin D. Progesterone The correct answer is C. Prolactin. Breastfeeding is associated with high levels of prolactin. These high levels of prolactin prevent the ovaries from ovulating or releasing eggs. A mother who breastfeeds exclusively without giving her baby any supplements for the first six months after the birth of her baby is very unlikely to ovulate or become pregnant. The lactational amenorrhea method of birth control, LAM, is based on high prolactin. Question number 3. Immediately after birth, the baby is placed on the crib with the head lower than the trunk. This is done in order to A. Prevent vomiting B. Prevent hiccups. C. Improve baby's respiration. D. Facilitate the drainage of the secretion. The correct answer is D. To facilitate the drainage of the secretion. The newborn should be placed in the crib so that its head is lower than its body in order to allow the drainage of secretions that take place during birth particularly that of excess amniotic fluid. The fluid usually clears from the newborn's lungs within a few hours after birth or within two to three days. The newborn will breathe easier as the fluid clears. Question number four. The midwife dries the infant as soon after birth as possible primarily to help. A. Avoid excess heat loss from the infant's body. B. Stimulate the infant's circulating system. C. Remove the white substance on the infant's skin. D. Make the infant presentable to the parents and relatives. The correct answer is A. To help avoid excess heat loss from the infant's body, a newborn baby is wet from the amniotic fluid and can easily become cold. Drying the baby and using warm blankets and heat lamps can prevent heat loss. Often, a knitted hat is placed on the baby's head. Placing the baby skin to skin on the mother's chest or abdomen also helps to keep the baby warm. This early skin to skin contact also reduces crying, improves the interaction between mother and baby, and helps the mother breastfeed successfully. Question number 5. The administration of parenteral vitamin K is indicated for A. All newborn infants. B. Jaundiced infants. C. Infants below 2,500 grams. D. Infants of less than 36 weeks of gestation. The correct answer is A. The administration of parenteral vitamin K is indicated for all newborn infants. Newborn babies do not have enough vitamin K at birth and are, therefore, at risk of having serious bleeding. Thus, it is important that all babies get a vitamin K shot. Vitamin K is needed for blood clotting. 
Newborn babies are given vitamin K injections to prevent a serious disease called hemorrhagic disease of the newborn or HDN, which is also referred to as vitamin K deficiency in babies or VKDB. Question number 6. The midwife evaluates baby Angel Lois for the second time by using the OPGAR scoring system. She has recorded the infant's color, respiratory effort, reflex irritability, heart rate, and should next rate the infants. A. Weight B. Muscle C. Length D. Blood pressure The correct answer is B. Muscle. Introduced by Dr. Virginia Opgar in 1952, the Opgar or Opgar scoring system is a quick test performed on a baby at 1 and 5 minutes after birth. The Opgar test is done by a healthcare provider, either a doctor, a midwife, or a nurse. The provider examines the baby's breathing effort, heart rate, muscle tone, reflexes, and skin color in no particular order. Each category is scored with 0, 1, or 2, depending on the observed condition. The 1 minute score determines how well the baby tolerated the birthing process. The 5 minute score tells the healthcare provider how well the baby is doing outside the mother's womb. Question number 7. Which of the following measures can prevent colic to newborn? A. Rub the abdomen with Vaporub. B. Put abdominal binder. C. Burp the baby every after feeding. D. Give lukewarm water with honey after each feeding. The correct answer is C. Burp the baby every after feeding. Burping is a key part of a baby's feeding routine. When a baby swallows, air bubbles can become trapped in the stomach and cause discomfort. Excessive gas in a baby's stomach can lead to colic, a frequent, prolonged and intense crying or fussiness in an otherwise healthy infant. Question number 8. The first and most common finding in mild hemolytic disease of the newborn. A. Jaundice B. Pallor C. Anemia D. Bilirubinuria The correct answer is A. Jaundice. Jaundice, or the yellow coloring of a baby's umbilical cord, skin, and the whites of his or her eyes, is the most common symptom of mild hemolytic disease of the newborn or HDN. Other less common symptoms are a pale-looking skin or pallor, a big liver and spleen, and severe swelling of the baby's entire body. By the way, bilirubinuria is the presence of bilirubin in the urine, while anemia in newborns is a condition where the baby's body has a lower red blood cell count than normal. Question number 9. The following condition needs daily skin care and treatment, except A. Diaper rush B. Intertrigo C. Scabies D. Milia The correct answer is D. Milia is a skin condition in which multiple tiny white bumps or cysts can be seen on a newborn. It is extremely common and most babies will develop these keratin-containing cysts. Milia is seen in nearly half of newborn babies at birth. Its lesions may be seen on the face, scalp, and upper part of the torso, but there is nothing abnormal about them. In fact, these will usually resolve and disappear spontaneously. Therefore, no treatment is necessary. On the other hand, diaper rush, intertrigo, and scabies are all skin conditions that may cause severe discomfort to a baby, and therefore require daily skin care and treatment. Question number 10. Which of the following causes can affect the regular milk supply of the mother? A. Complete emptying of the breast. B. Regular breastfeeding. C. Regular intake of milk. D. Feeling of anxiety. The correct answer is D. Feeling of anxiety. Feeling stressed or anxious is the number one killer of a breastfeeding mother's breast milk supply, especially in the first few weeks after delivery. 
Between lack of sleep and adjusting to the baby's schedule, rising levels of certain hormones such as cortisol can dramatically reduce a mother's milk supply. You have just completed midwifery reviewer number 3, which featured questions on infant care and feeding. If you wish to watch more midwifery reviewers on infant care and feeding, check out our midwifery infant care and feeding reviewers playlist. Check out also our other midwifery reviewers playlists for other reviewer topics. If you haven't done so yet, please don't forget to subscribe to Review Central and click or press the bell button to make sure you get notified whenever we post a new reviewer or other review materials on this channel. Please like if you find this video useful and feel free to share to anyone who may also benefit from it. We wish you all the best on your forthcoming midwifery licensure exam.